like if you like, and subscribe if you don't. Now let's get started. As you can see, my friend is inside this console, and she did not use a PHD slider glitch, so I'll show you how she did it. First, head to dmachine and make sure you have Ether Shroud equipped and it needs to be tier 3 or higher. Then turn on the power and head into the anomaly. Make your way up to the Wonderfizz machine located in the penthouse. You will want to buy Juggernaut, Stamina Up, and Mule Kick, which will need to be tier 2 or higher. This can be done on private, solo, or even in a public match. And good news, no friend is required for this one. Going into the anomaly is not required. I am simply doing this so that you can see the death barrier route easier. Stand right here and look in between the window and the machine, and then use Ether Shroud Tier 3, and then quickly follow my route. If you fail getting in the first time, then just kill zombies until your Ether Shroud is fully charged, and then try again. Run through these machines towards the back wall, which you will need to follow to the left. Jump this wall and then go left to the safe wall. Let your health recharge and then run this direction. Right here, you need to climb to the top of this fence and follow it until it turns. Then jump up once and move forward a bit until the death barrier damage stops. It can be tricky getting on top of the fence, so remember to return to the safe wall to recharge your health. Do not bring stems or the quick revive perk with you. Now you'll want to jump to the blue wall. Move over to the left slightly, and if your friend has a big butt taking all the room, ask them politely to move over, and then jump as you are pushing forward, and you will climb right through into the console. You can shoot all the zombies while standing, but you will get a better view if you crouch. All the zombies will just pile up in front of you, making this a great spot for headshots. You can pick up everything within reach, and you can also pick up power-ups, but you may need to move forward a bit to grab them. You can also try the flamethrower glitch in this area if you have a friend in the game with you, but I wouldn't recommend it here since you will be getting damaged from the dog gas. During the dog wave, you'll want to be fully forward or prone, so that the dogs attack you instead of explode. You can stay inside the console with your friend, or you can go to your own spot. Simply jump over this wall to start a different pileup. If the zombies can hit you, just move to the left or back slightly and then fire away. The boss may pile up with the zombies, but he also may attack you at times, so equip to Ring of Fire to take him out easier. Just be sure to change it back to Ether Shroud before you leave. I tried going full AFK in this spot, but I did eventually run out of ammo. But if you are aiming in the same direction I am, then you should be able to survive here for quite a while, as long as you have Elemental Pop Tier 5 helping you out. When you want to leave, simply drop down to the ground. Grab what you need and then quickly get back into the glitch. To have a chance for a special shout out in one of my upcoming videos, then hit that like and subscribe, and enter hashtag shoutout in the comments. During one of my upcoming videos, the special shout out will be given to a random name selected, and a link to their channel will be put in the description of that video. And a very special thank you to my members. You guys are awesome. And thank you everyone for all the support. And that's all for now. See you next time.
The secret word for this video is insta-kill. Enter that in the comments if you found it.